Competitor keyword analysis really is the foundation for when launching or even revitalizing a product on Amazon. When it comes to standing out from the competition, creating your marketing campaigns, and even developing your listing, analyzing your competitors will give you all the answers and avoidable mistakes. If you're new to the channel, my name's Andre and I've teamed up with AMZ Scout over the past year and a half developing comprehensive videos just like this one here to really help elevate your Amazon business. From developing and launching three different brands on Amazon myself and mentoring dozens of folks who are looking to do the same, I can tell you there is no more powerful tool than analyzing your competitor's listing to help your product stand out on the platform. Before we learn how to identify the different competitors in our niche, we need to learn how to identify the different keywords in our niche and why it's so important for our listing. And if you didn't know, anytime you type something into the Amazon search tab, the platform uses a special algorithm to help show you products related to the word or keyword you typed in. This is where, as Amazon sellers, we need to identify the different keywords in our niche that customers are most regularly using when shopping on the platform. The best way to find these keywords is using the AMZ Scout tool called the Amazon Keyword Search. Once you've typed in a keyword related to your niche, the AMZ tool will generate a large list of hundreds of different keywords related to the one you typed in with tons of important information like estimated monthly search volume, keyword trend, CPC cost, and my favorite metric, which is the average keyword sales figure. From here, I like to create a list of five to 10 keywords with a search volume over 3,000 and a keyword sales figure over 500. Now with this list, you're able to type in these certain keywords into the search results and start to narrow down which competitors we want to start targeting. To start analyzing the different competitors in your niche, you need to understand the different sellers in your niche and which one of those sellers are most relatable to your product. Within any niche, there will always be a spectrum of a product that ranges in quality and price. Believe it or not, I see a lot of folks who will focus on the wrong type of competitors in their niche. Let's say, for example, you're selling a child's digital camera on Amazon for an average price point of about $60. If you just typed in digital camera into Amazon, the spectrum of sellers would be way too broad of whom you're trying to get valuable information from that you'll use to stand out from the rest of the relative competition. Instead, you want to find sellers with a very similar product so you can compare prices, amount of sales, unique selling points, their good and bad reviews, and maybe most importantly, their marketing strategies. Once you've identified the sellers that have a similar quality and price to your product, it's time to filter down that list even further. This is where you'll filter down the different listings by establishing who is doing the most amount of sales as well as who has the better rank on Amazon. Besides top sellers in the niche by number of sales and reviews, I like to focus on new sellers that have launched their product within the last six months to a year. These competitors are a great example of a product that is fresh to the market and has found a high level of success. Okay, so now we've gone over the different ways to identify the keywords and the different competitors within your niche, it's time to take it a step further and analyze the different metrics surrounding your findings and see how you can implement it into your own listing. And I'm sure you're thinking at this point, this sounds like a lot of work to now go into each competitor's listing, write down their price point, their average sales number, number of reviews, estimated monthly revenue, etc. So what if all that work has been done for you and put together in an easy to read format, streamlining this entire process? Well, that's exactly what they've done at AMZ Scout with their competitor analysis report. The report is generated specifically from the product niche you're interested in with specific guidelines like product type, price range, and specific audience. Before we open the report and get into all the details, I just want to take a moment to say if you're finding value to this video, make sure to smash that like button as all it does is help us make videos just like this one in the future that really help you through every part of the Amazon journey. Once you open the report, not only will you see how to use the report and all the data, but AMZ Scout breaks down all the important language with different definitions and reasonings as to why the data is so available. To start, head to the full keyword list section. Here you'll see all the different keywords within your specific niche, as well as the different estimated search volume associated to each keyword. 
AMZ Scout then gives you a bunch of information under the keyword comparison section of why certain keywords hold more value than others and which ones you should be paying attention to that should show up on page one of the search results. Next, if you scroll down to one of my favorite sections, that has the most popular and relevant keywords. In this section, AMZ Scout has calculated the percentage of search results that show your specific product in relation to quality and price. This comes back to one of the first topics we covered in this video and why it's so important to find different competitors that are really relative to your price and quality. This takes a lot of the research out of the process and organizes the keywords at the top of the chart and gives you all the important metrics. A few metrics that I like to pay attention to are the numbers of Amazon products on the first page. This is just indicating Amazon's brand, or as you may have heard of as Amazon Basics. This is Amazon's own brand on the platform that is really hard to compete with. In most cases, I like to see the keywords that have zero to 10% figure for this section. Basically, the lower the percentage, the better the keyword is. On the next page, you'll see the less relevant keywords, and just as the title indicates, these are the keywords that I generally try to stay away from when it comes to optimizing my listing with a title, bullet points, and descriptions. Speaking of optimizing your listing, the next section of the report labeled the most frequently used words in the listing optimization of similar products section really does a ton of legwork when it comes to showing you which keywords are used throughout your competitor's listing. What I like to do for this section is see which keywords have the highest density percentage for the different sections and make sure to incorporate those first into my listing. The next part that's worth gathering some valuable information from is the best selling product section. Here is where the report will take the different ASINs that are considered the best sellers in the niche. Focusing on your competitors who are doing the best in your niche really does give you insight to avoidable mistakes as well as a clear path to success. One of the last sections of the report is labeled the best selling products launched in 2024. Again, we wanna focus on sellers who have recently launched their product and have found a high level of success. This shows us they were able to increase their Amazon rank in the niche in a short amount of time while hitting higher sales and revenue figures. Again, the report will give you the brand name, their prices, estimated sales, and most importantly, when they started selling the product. This can be great for helping you get a timeline of how long it will take to become profitable, as well as how many units you should expect to sell when starting out. As you guys can see from the report, there is a ton of information that AMC Scout has organized into different sections that cover all the important strategies we talked about in the beginning of the video. Personally, I've done this process on my own a few times at this point, and it left me with tens of hours invested into the different research, trying to copy and paste all the different information into a Word document that was not nearly as organized and well put together as the AMC Scout report. Having the entire report broken down by section with clear reasoning really is a game changer when you go to list your product. If you guys are interested to a sample report, AMC Scout has made one available so you can really take your time to see what things will look like. Once you're on the seller hook competitor keyword research page, scroll down to get a sample report with a full analysis of competitor keywords. So let me put it in your email address and within minutes have access to the report they've sent you. If you guys are interested, there will be a link in the description of this video that will bring you to some of the tools we used as well as where you can download a sample report for free. I think some important takeaways from today's video can really focus on how daunting this task can be of gathering the different keywords as well as analyzing your competitors' listings. However, when you have all the data at your fingertips and organized in an easy to read format, it's so much easier to see the strategy and then implement it into your own listing. Now with the possibility of outsourcing your analysis, you can focus on other important and more involved tasks like checking inventory levels, 
reinvesting money back into the business, negotiating inventory pricing, and more. As always, if you guys found value to this video, make sure to smash that like button. And more importantly, if you have any questions about what we covered in today's video, make sure to drop a comment down below and we'll get you going in the right direction. As always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.